scientists finally see what's inside a black hole. Black holes are one of the most interesting objects in the universe. They inspire equal parts fear and fascination. Astronomers and scientists know precious little about its properties, and most of what we know is of speculative nature. In pop culture, these black holes are mostly considered as a galaxy-consuming sentient being, whose job is to swallow celestial objects. For the first time ever, scientists have been able to take a look inside a black hole. Stay tuned to find out what they found out. But before we continue further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you! Before we talk about what scientists were able to find inside of a black hole, it is important to understand what a black hole is. So, a black hole is located smack in the middle of each galaxy, and is a place with such a strong gravitational well that even light cannot escape from it. This means that we cannot visually detect a black hole, and therefore, scientists and astronomers have to rely on other measures to find out where a black hole is located. But what creates a black hole in the first place? The black holes are essentially leftovers of a dead star. When the mass of the star crosses a certain threshold, gravity overwhelms it. This collapses a star, which in turn results into a black hole. Astronomers have found out that most spiral and elliptical galaxies have black holes at their center. There are about three different types of black holes. The smallest of these black holes have the mass equivalent to a sun, and it can go all the way up to 100 times that of the sun. Essentially, all black holes are formed when the star dies and results in a supernova. The largest of these black holes can have a mass equivalent to millions, if not billions times that of the sun. One reason which explains the immense size of these black holes is that these black holes merge with each other to become massive. These black holes tend to explain some anomalous behavior of stars and planets. Interestingly enough, we still do not know enough about them. Scientists believe that according to Einstein's theory of general relativity, matter warps time and space and folds them over each other, thus resulting in gravity. This means that the black holes are extremely dense, and therefore, their gravitational pull is without any measure. But the more interesting part of the black hole is the center, which scientists call singularity. Singularity is where all laws of physics go out the window. At this point, no scientist can predict what will end up happening. According to Einstein, if matter is thrown into a black hole, all information will be destroyed, which is quite interesting since the law of thermodynamics states that the total energy of the system remains constant. According to quantum mechanics, this simply cannot happen. This is where astrophysicists and theoretical physicists draw out their abstract ideas and equations, and pitch speculative battles are fought. But there is a new contender in the arena. Mathematicians are trying to reconcile the general theory of relativity and quantum mechanics. As far as black holes are concerned, the general conception is that they are black holes because they have a hole in them. This characterization is incorrect. Black holes can be likened to super powerful magnets, which basically attracts everything. We need to understand how gravity functions. Gravity is the force which keeps us on the surface of the Earth. It does not let us just float off Earth's surface into space. This is why every time we jump, we come back to the surface. Although gravity technically pulls us towards the center of the Earth, yet upon landing at the surface, we stop experiencing the pull. Black holes take things further. Imagine that you are still falling down under the action of that force until you reach the center of the Earth. This is how strong the gravitational pull of a black hole is. The relation of mass and gravity is a strange one. Astronauts weigh less on the moon because it has a weaker gravitational pull than Earth. This means that astronauts' weight is heavily dependent on the gravitational pull of the planet on which they are. Now coming back to the original question, if the black hole does not have a hole in the middle, what exactly do they have? Scientists think that a black hole is essentially a sphere, or a volume of space in the shape of a sphere. Theoretically speaking, the black hole itself consists of two parts, the singularity in the middle and a border which indicates the outer boundary of the black hole. The singularity has an infinite density in the middle, which is the sole reason why the black holes have the immensely strong gravitational pull from which light cannot even escape. The threshold, beyond which no object can withstand the gravity of the black hole, is called the event horizon. It appears that the event horizon is located on the border, or the edge, but we should remember that it is not solid, and if anything approaches it, it would quickly fall in it. So, if black holes are so strong 
that even light cannot escape from its gravity, then how would we detect them in the first place? Instead of using traditional telescopes, scientists use radio telescopes and gravitational wave detectors. These instruments measure the waves created by objects when they travel around in space. Based on the ripple effect caused, these telescopes can determine where black holes are located. In 2015, through a laser interferometer and a gravitational wave observatory, we observed gravitational waves for the first time, which they were created by the collision of two black holes some 1.3 billion years ago. This is how we detect black holes. They have a drastic impact on their environment, which can range from sucking in gas, dust, and even stars. This means that black holes can come off as a heated object. In 2019, we came across the first image of a black hole and its shadow in a galaxy called Messier 87. This image reveals a black hole in action, and the reason it comes off as so is because it is absorbing radiation. To give you a scale of the distance, it is 55 million light years away from Earth. What have we learned from this black hole located in Messier 87 is the subject of another video. Until then, stay safe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.